Hello YouTube, I'm BigAl1982, this is the Movie Reviewers 100, the collaboration channel here on YouTube that brings you themes each week. This week's theme is Horror Comedy Week, and I've decided to review a film that's not necessarily classed as a, a comedy film, but has a lot of uh, funny moments in it, which I, I really enjoy, and that is the 1996 release, Scream. Directed by Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson, starring Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, and many others as well. Uh, Matthew Lillard, a Skeet Uratar, and I can never remember the other girl's name who plays Tatum, which is uh, Rose McGrowan, and also in this film you have uh, Jamie Kennedy as well. Um, this film was released in 1996, and I was in my pre-teens, uh, a bit young to watch it uh, officially, but I uh, managed to get my hold of a VHS copy and I wore that copy out. Uh, this for me was one of my favourite um, horror films growing up. Um, I just really loved the, the first film in particular. The sequels, uh, I feel they dip the more you go along. Um, but overall, uh, I really love the Scream franchise. Um, I love uh, the, the look of Ghostface. A really great... Um, uh, character although it's uh, spoilers played by many other people uh, but the image of the the mask in the outfit um, with the knife is uh, for me one of my favorite uh, horror characters um, through franchises um, so this film starts off with uh, Drew Barrymore um, who's on most of the posters and the first time you're watching it you'd think she'd be throughout the whole film but uh, spoilers if you've never seen it before she laughs a uh, lot she lasts about five minutes in the film. She plays the character of Casey, um, and she, at the beginning of the film, she's introduced the character of Ghostface, where uh, she has the phone call, um, "What's your favourite scary movie? Are you alone in the house?" and so on, and uh, then she comes to her demise, and then you're introduced to the Courtney Cox uh, character of Sydney, um, who had a tragic death in Irvine a year before, with her mum uh, dying. Uh, being murdered, and uh, sort of her group you're introduced to of Tatum, um, Billy, Randy, and uh, Stu. Um, also in this film, I say you've got Courtney Cox who plays the local um, news reporter Gal Weathers. It's sort of a conflict between her and Sydney uh, due to her covering um, her mother's uh, trial the year before, and. Um, saying that the killer or the believed killer cotton weary a boyfriend of the mother uh, was innocent uh, he was he was played by Lee uh, Lever uh, Stryber I believe that's how you pronounce it who's been in many other things uh, since then uh, I remember he played uh, in Wolverine Origins as uh, Sabretooth um, but as I said this film I grew up watching and I just really loved it I loved the 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 comedy elements in there and the horror, um, it sort of didn't, it made fun of itself, but it took the the horror and the scare seriously. Uh, and there was a lot of good jumps in this film. Uh, and throughout the film, it's sort of basically telling you the rules uh, through the Randy character, the movie geek, uh, like most of us here on YouTube. And he sort of says there's certain rules to survive a horror film, and uh, they go through films like you should never say I'll be right back, you should stay a virgin, you shouldn't drink. And uh, this is where, uh, in, uh, for me, uh, the Matthew Lillard uh, character bounces off uh, of Stu, bounces off the Rad Randy character. Uh, for me, it's just his facial expressions through the films and his one-liners really makes the film for me. And I always, every time he's on the screen, I just find myself laughing at the Matthew Lillard character of um, Stuart. Um, yeah, throughout the film, you're introduced to the killers or killer. I must say, I don't want to spoil it for people. Um, and it's twists and turns like most horror films. But this is, for me, it was in a genre where they uh, released a lot of uh, teen horror films. Um, I know we did last summer was released around about the same time, maybe a year or two later. And, um, yeah, so it was that up-and-coming uh, wave of horror, teen horror films. And, um, yeah, I sort of could relate to some of the characters in it being that young at the time. And uh, yeah, he's got Henry Winkler in this film as well. 
Uh, so any film with him in it, it's going to be good. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a cameo from Wes Craven in there as well, um, which is always good to look out for. Uh, some great music in this film as well. I, I really like uh, the soundtrack, uh, the score, um, with the scary uh, scenes that are happening. For me, there were some really good uh, scores there. So for me, I really enjoyed the story. I like the twists and turns. I love the ghost face character. I love the comedy element. And for me, this was just a really enjoyable uh, late 90s horror film with a bit of comedy in it. And uh, if you've never seen any of the Scream films, definitely uh, highly recommend checking out the first Scream, where it all kicked off, and for me, the best of the franchise. Uh, this might be my review. I apologise for it being up a little bit late, uh, but there's YouTube. You can watch it any time you like. Um, Hope you all are enjoying your weekend. I've been Big Night Eighty Two. Go and check out Scream if you haven't already. A really enjoyable, uh, fun horror flick from the late nineties. Goodbye and good luck.